Ah, back to a familiar land. One of my very favorite Zelda games, too. I've always been more of a 2D Zelda person, as I keep think I keep bringing up every time uh, that I play this. But Tears of the Kingdom does have me uh, really interested in watching other people play it. More than actually playing it myself, but hey, I'm really enjoying watching other people play it. Welcome to the library! Hey, aren't you Smith's grandson, Sky? Enjoy your browsing! I'm in charge of checking out books, so it's not my problem. Still, I really feel bad for the girl over there in charge of returns. What are you talking about? What are what I should check out today? Hey, you've got kinstones for me. Do we have? Yes, we do. I think I needed a specific type of kinstone for one specific person. Uh, I should probably go and check on that before we get too far. I heard that outdoor song in so many Mario Zero map packs. Which one? The... Minish Cap one or something else? Also, hey Corby, welcome to the stream. Let's go check in on that guy who needed the kinstone from me, because I need to do this sooner rather than later. Otherwise, it'll lock me out. You needed a specific kind of kinstone. It's red, and it's the W shape, and I still don't have it. Which, I'm pretty sure I checked at the end of last stream, but I just don't remember anymore. It's been like two months since then. I've slipped since then. At least once. Wouldn't be able to tell when I was working on Retrush, but I've definitely slept since that's over. Hey, guy. Why do you scream every time someone talks to you? Sometimes these books move on their own! I've seen it with my own two eyes! And don't tell me I'm crazy! I ain't crazy! That's why you're screaming, okay. Because you're literally crazy. I mean, sorry, you're not crazy. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that in front of you. Hi, Bay. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for lurking and listening. Oh, I love my lurkers. Popping on the stream for some cozy, quiet comfort. Makes my evening. So to open this up... We flip it over the pot. We hop on in! Fidgety Frolic says, I should try screaming like that when people try to talk to me. Hi, everyone's. Hey, Fidgety Frolic. Welcome to the stream. Over here to the bookshelf. I love this. I love this so much. This just piqued my imagination as a kid, being able to walk in and around all the books on the bookshelf. This is so cool. Hey, 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 this is no good. No good at all. The humans have checked out some books from the library. Thanks to them, none of us can get back to Elder Library. Holy, get by all alone. I'm so worried. I'm sure the librarian knows something about where those books went. I wish I were big. Why, well, I'd walk right up and ask her where those books went. We can't climb this all the way, but we can climb up the spine of this one. We can't get up the shelf because some human checked out that book. But at least we don't have to listen to Elder Library's boring old stories. Another kinstone. As a really young kid, I actually got to kind of mimic the effects. Uh, for a little while, we were going to... As a family, we were going to Home Depot and Lowe's a lot for some construction stuff. And uh, I was small enough at the time that I could duck under the really big bottom shelves and sort of navigate around what was back there like a maze. And it kind of felt like this. It's a very silly memory. I am too big these days, though, and they'd probably call the police. We can walk down here now, too, but we can't cross this road, so it doesn't really get much for us right now. I think there's something we can get here later, though. Not too far in the future, either. GBA games just hit different. They really do. I need me one. Uh, there's some good GBA- modded GBAs lately with, like, better backlit screens and the translucent stuff that I've been looking at. They're kind of expensive, but they're- they're worth the craft because people are handcrafting these things. They look nice. 
I was also staring at that analog pocket, though, that plays a bunch more stuff. That would be fun, too. Right, I need to talk to the library person. Nobody ever returns the books to check out from the library. I'm sure that the gossip in the village is just conveniently timed for this, and it has nothing to do with the fact that that's the next thing to do. Books missing from the bookshelf on the second floor. Yes, they've been checked out for quite a while. They're very overdue. Take a Hyrulean bestiary, for example. Been gone for ages. Checked out by a girl with a cat. She said she had a cat at her house. Wanted to learn more about it, she did. Alright. First book. I think there's three. There's a recurring theme with some of the handheld games from the GBA and DS era where, like, things shrink down to small, like this in Mario Party DS, and I'm sure a few more that I can't think of right now, but it was definitely a trope. This is the wrong house. It's the other one. Hmm? Say, look at that, Sky. There's a book up on top of the bookcase. How are we gonna get it? We can't reach it. We have no ladder. And I don't think just shaking the bookcase will make it fall away, either. This presents an interesting problem, wouldn't you say? Dear Mom, I'll be next door if you need me. So, we could climb up there as small, I think. We also have the Pegasus boots, but I don't think that'll get us anywhere. Yeah, not this time. No link to the past references here. Do you need the Pegasus boots for this? Surprisingly, no. But, you can do this instead. And do you have to put this out? I think you have to put this out. So we'll be back in just a moment with... Well, shoot, I have to use my fairy for this. Yeah, I have to use my fairy for this. Because I don't have a second bottle right now. I could go find a second bottle. I'm lazy. Forgive me for doing things the easy way. Get some water. Gonna play the GBA for port of Shining Force sometime? I wasn't even aware there was one. Substantially different from the OG. I like that style of fantasy so much, and I'm tired of this modern grim dark everything. Yeah, it, it's definitely a little overdone. I can see why people like it, but that high fantasy thing just seems like more of a classic era video games thing than anything. Like, it, it seems less done these days. Even Zelda has more of a sci fi thing going on to it with Tears of the Kingdom. Whoa, did you see that cat looking at me? I know it wants a piece of me. I actually like Tears of the Kingdom's, uh... ...style just fine. Ugh, that really startled me. Everything's scary when you're small. I actually like Tears of the Kingdom's style just fine, but it is definitely, like... ...everything seems to want to do this. And... ...whatever, that's fine. Push the book... ...push it just off this way. Okay. I don't have to push it off to the right. For some reason, I thought I did. Get past the cat again. Shining Force is like zero mission, not not as much of a straight upgrade, but that sort of thing. Interesting. I'm very curious about that. Uh, I picked up the uh, Genesis Mark II, the Genesis Mini II. That's what it is. Got one book back. Picked up the Genesis Mini II, and it has Shining Force CD on it, which is like a similar kind of remake of the Game Gear Shining Force. And I've been really curious about that, but I haven't done more than poke at the Genesis Mini since I got it. I would say I was saving it for a stream, but I really wasn't. There's just so much other shit to do. Hey, look at that! Our long-lost copy of a Hyrulean Bestiary! Sky, are you, are you returning this book? Thank you so much! I can't begin to describe how much I'm looking forward to putting this back. Alright, what's next? The next overdue book is... let's see... Ah, yes, of course! Legend of the Picori! It's been out forever! It was checked out by a somewhat absent-minded scholar, I believe. This is also somebody right here in town. And when I was young and didn't know you could talk to this dog to get him to go out of the way, it was a lot harder to get in and out of this place. What, huh? A book from the library? Ah, yes, of course. I knew this day would come. Please, come in. And now I can finally do this. I'm a researcher of Picori legend and lore. My name is Dr. Left. You're hearing about that book, Legend of the Picori, aren't you? Well, I hate to say this, but I haven't seen it in several days. Perhaps a mischievous little mouse has taken it. 
Well, I'm sure it's in this house somewhere, I just don't know where. But I'm very busy right now, so why don't you just go look for it for yourself? Go look for it yourself. You have... a thing for me? No? I thought I saw the bubble for a moment. So this is another case where we're gonna want some water to put out the fireplace so that we can actually go up into this guy's house. Which, for some reason, he's letting us do. Alright, Bubba. Out of the way. Thanks, Bubba. Alright. So, in here... No. Further south, I actually needed to be down, is the beginning of a long adventure. Maybe I can get this dog to go out and search for the light force for me. Because I just can't take it anymore. Poor guy. Have you tried looking for another line of work? Shiny Force uh, GBA has a lot more dialogue than the OG Western release. The original localization had a lot of text cut because they didn't have the space. Yeah, that makes sense. I know a lot of modern localizations just, like, completely rewrite the way the game handles text in order to do it, and it just... Th that's unsustainable after a while. Use kinstones. We haven't even talked to this person. We're just like kinstones now. Shiny Force CD is too wacky, too lean, with mostly just gameplay with no levity. Interesting. Okay, so completely different from the uh, first Shiny Force, because something about the game's high fantasy story and setting really got me as a kid. I played, Se I played Shining Force on a Sega Smash Pack on PC, and I had a really hard time <laughs> playing it for, I think, obvious reasons. I I'm not good at strategy games, but, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I played I played it that way, and it something really caught me about it, but it was definitely the story and not the gameplay. If it was just gameplay, I wouldn't have stuck with it as well. Onward to glory, then. We are going to do the thing that I tried to figure out how to do, like, five separate times last time and couldn't figure it out. Ah, uh, it's no good. I just can't get anywhere. Man, oh man. Gotta get past these cats. Nah, nah, you don't see me. You'd out, don't see me. Bye. The cats in this game are so mean. Who knew there'd be somewhere in a place like this behind one of the town's fountains? Well, let's get moving and see if we can find that item those Minish mentioned. So this is part of the side quest I wanted to do last time, where you get something that gives you super strength as a Minish. And we are required to get it to get this book. Shining Force awoke the dragon in me. <laughs> Everybody's got their game for that. Shining Force did something for me. I I want to make, like, one of my game ideas, one of my endless game ideas that I can finally work on now that Retrish is over, is, uh, I want to make an SRPG I can actually play with, like, simplified mechanics, but not so simplified that it's boring. But it's definitely going to have that high fantasy kind of thing that kept me invested in uh, Shining Force to begin with. Anyway, power bracelets! Now we can move the bookshelves as a Minish. And that is a huge upgrade. Because now we can get around to significantly larger portions of town. Oh, cats. You're such cats! Don't you do- Ow! I have to deal with this in real life, too. Except for the small thing. They just swap me anyway. Poor cats will do that. I'll definitely take you up on that, Pash. Just whenever that ends up happening. That's probably a while from now. But you'll be on the list. And now, we can do this. A super strength is minish, just normal strength is a Hylian. I... Interesting choice. Uh, interesting idea. I can't tell, but I can tell you, now we have the strength of an ant. So that plays into the small thing more. Hmm, I see. Oh, that makes sense. Human books are so interesting, and that guy Dr. Left living down there has great taste in reading material. 
They just steal the books and bring them up here. My god. Living your best lives. It's a bit dusty up here, huh? Maybe I should do a little cleaning. We'll need that in a moment. But first, let's look at this. Hey, buddy. Oh, ha! Hey! <laughs> I want to return this book by dropping it down below. It's impossible without some extra weight here. But my brother is so busy with a book of his own that he won't help me out. Maybe I can do it if I try again. Let's help out. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, we're just not heavy enough. Okay, let's see what we can do here. The dust... ...conceals... ...some of these. And I really don't understand how or why this works. But this makes us heavier, even though he looks like a hologram. Get down there! Well, I'm glad you jumped. But, okay. For some reason I was able to sneak past the book like that. Weird. Happy Friday, Hallian Swordsman! Welcome to the stream! Good to see ya! The Legend of Zelda Two Swords Adventure. Exactly! Not that this is a sequel, prequel to the game or anything. Not related at all. Hey, buddy. A book fell with a thud a little while ago. It gave me such a shock that my heart skipped a beat. Yeah, uh, I have no idea why that happened. <laughs> but let me just take it back to the library for you. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it too much. It's not suspicious. Me continuing to talk about it is not suspicious. Ah yes, The Legend of Zelda More Swords Adventure. That's it. Exactly correct. Wait, we're, that's not what we need to do. We don't have all the books yet. We gotta go take this book back down to... The nice lady at the counter. Oh my goodness, will you look at that? It's our copy of Legend of the Picori. It's been checked out for so long. Sky, you deserve a medal for all this. I am moved, deeply, deeply moved by this thoughtful gesture. And the last book we still need is A History of Masks. I think it was checked out by Hagen, the mayor. How could he keep a library book so long? He's a public official! Yeah, that's why he does what he wants. I mean, I didn't say that out loud. Uh, Hagen is a great guy, and I'm sure there is a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. Hey, Hagen, I'm not talking about you. What? That mustachio guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. Y you just gonna say that out loud in front of him? I was at least not- I was at least going to try not to. Walk into your house. Demand kinstones. Explain nothing. Leave. Like the perfectly reasonable explanation for his creepy dungeon basement under his house. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't think he's even aware of such a thing. Oh, that's so pretty. A perfect fit. Now I know we'll get lucky. Ahem. Yes, that's me, Hagen. I'm mayor of this town. What's that? You want a book? A history of masks. And you say I checked it out, do you? Yes, indeed I did. Or, wait, did I? My dude. You know, these masks see everything that goes on in my private life. Maybe you should just ask my masks! You, you really think you could just do whatever the fuck you want. Alright! I thought this was how you got these down. No? How do you do this again? Do you just go up there? I'm a cat knocking things down from the shelf! No. Not how this works. Hmm... Does this work? No. I swore it was the gust jar.
You know, it just occurred to me, which person keeps the full kinstone once you've matched the halves? Well, it's not in Link's inventory. And it's not like we need it, we just need the thing that comes from it. What is happening here? Masks, masks, ask my masks. Masky, masky, mask, blah, 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 blah. How does this work again? Pegasus boots. That's it. Thanks, Hylian. That's right, there's more than one way to ram yourself into a wall. I'm, I'm used to somersaulting into a wall because I've been watching too much Tears of the Kingdom lately. Oops. Wait, do I even need this? Who cares? Now we can go up here. You know, I have super strength. I really could have just knocked them off the wall like a cat. Whatever. The mayor took off for his cabin by the lake clutching a book. We saw him go, but after the chest was opened, the road to Minish Woods was blocked. You won't be able to get through. When the mayor came back, he didn't have that book anymore. I'm sure he just left it at his lakeside cabin. He's pretty forgetful like that. Relatable. You want to go to the cabin by the lake? Well, let me just mark it here on your map. Er, uh, yes, there. It's right here. You should be able to find it now. Thank you. Very kind. Strictly speaking, the world of Minish Cap is so small too, but everything is reused so well and all of the rooms are nice and flowy and have a lot going on with them. It's condensed, but there's enough Zelda here that it's a whole Zelda. And I really like that about it. They did a good job. Kinstone! Wait a second. Is this what I was looking for? Is this the piece? Of course not! We need the W-shaped one. Alright, off to the lakeside cabin. Hopefully we find some things along the way. Yep, that that's just a dude standing in my way. Hey kid, did you stay at the inn? Well, and did you get your gift? No, I haven't tried it yet. The inn's open now, right? Head over this way through the shortcut we opened up. Down through here is a shortcut to where we're going. Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. All digging absolutely prohibited. Fuck you, I do what I want. Alright. Is this a chest? Looks like it. Blue piece. Not to be confused with a bloopy. I know a trap when I see one. And I definitely don't just have that memorized. From running into it five million times as a kid. No idea what you're talking about. Or what I'm talking about. Oh goodness. That regular like like will just straight up steal your shield. I'm surprised how little often they show up in this game. Or really, I'm kind of surprised they show up at all. Gosh, it's got pasta. Ooh. Ah, yeah, that's what these are. These weird kinstone pieces on the wall do this side quest. It doesn't look like anything when you're digging through the cave, but then you walk up to it and Thought Bubble appears and it's like, What? What is this nonsense? And really, it kind of is nonsense. Anyway, here we are. Lakeside Cabin. We are too big to fit between the bookshelf. Hagen's word of wisdom. If you can't solve a problem, just ram headlong into it. BAM! Okay, so we got the masks off the wall that way. Let's try it. 
Ow. Now I just have a headache. Oops. And water up my nose. Anyway, it's actually doing this. That was a hint for the tree, not the book. Which is still shocking because you get a book down like that in Link to the Past, and this just doesn't ever do that at all. Another blue piece. And now we're here. Good. Thank you. I like how this little quest takes you just all over. You start in town, it takes you on a wild goose chase, and then the last one takes you on a real wide goose wild goose chase all over the frickin' place. They really made a lot from a little in the ow! None of these jerks were here when I was coming through the other way. What is up with that? And I swear that happens every time, too. So strange. I want it! I want it! Oh, we can just fly home, that's right. Gotta remember how this game works. And that's the third one! And the last book we still need is A History of Masks. Wait, I never picked it up. Shoot! Shoot! Now I have to walk all the way back! I never picked it up! Frick! What's the nearest? Uh... Lake Hylia. Itself. Yeah, this is close enough. No! Wrong. Incorrect. This is not close. We're gonna double back on that and just take the regular way. It looks closer than it is, but it turns out there are a whole bunch of hazards in the way. That's what I mean by these areas being so condensed. They're just like... All of these shortcuts crisscrossing each other that makes navigating this a little weird, but also like... Very big and open for how small these areas actually are. I really, really like it. They did a good job. That's good world design. Exactly! Possibly even better world design would be if they had left a warp right by Mary Hagen's house, so that if you warp back, you don't have this- without getting the book, you don't have this problem. But I think that would mean having two warps in one area, and that's not a... I don't think any of them have two warps in one area. Anyway, we got the book! Moving on with life! Make the world interesting, not big. Exactly! I don't want to say that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are desolate and lifeless and there's nothing going on to them because it's clear Nintendo put in the effort to fill them with stuff and make them worthwhile but they are also so goddamn big and traveling between the different points is so goddamn long that I think that's the thing that really got to me about those games and why they didn't click and why I have more fun watching them than actually playing them. Yes, yes, here I am. I'm here. I'll have these books put away lickety-split. Zip zoom, dude. All right. The bookshelves are back in order. Ah, I feel so, so renewed. Enjoy your browsing. Hotline says, Breath of the Wild has a lot more negative space. Yeah, and that helps with the feel of the world, and I won't deny that. It's definitely an intentional choice. It's just hard for me to get into like that, and that's a personal thing. I like condensed, handcrafted, well-thought-out experiences, and I guess that's why I make things like Retrush. 
Not to brag or anything, because I did- I did my best. But... That's my kind of thing. That's the thing I like playing, and that's the thing I like making, so... Breath of the Wild's cool. I like watching people play it. That's about it. When it comes to Zelda, I like stuff like this. Here's the Elder. Walk into house. Fuse can stones. Refuse to elaborate. Leave. A golden enemy. He's got a big old feather pen. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! A visitor after many long weeks. Even Jotari has been away so long, I've grown almost lonely. But what is it? What do you need? Hmm? You want to visit the Temple of Droplets? Very well. You are the first such brave person in a long while. Stand on the clover in front of me. Alright, alright. You kids today. No patience for an old man. Well, just stand right there like I told you. Whoa! Now, open secret mystery panel! Wait, what? Frick! I thought he was a nice guy! Oh, 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 wasn't that fun? Now then. It's up to you to pass this trial safely and recover the item you require. Oh, what fun. I do so love the real nitty-gritty of adventuring. Jerk. Also, ow. Don't have a paraglider for that one. I just smacked my hip on something. You have a hip? Or hips? Or... Never mind. My, whatever it is I have now, my brim, whatever. That old fool must just love sending people on dangerous missions. And how did that library get in the temple droplets anyway? Guess the answer lies up ahead. Keep moving, my boy. Mm-hmm. Just stuck here. Okay, there we go. That's it. Okay, it's corner cut. Hey, Red Burning Dragon, welcome to the stream! It's been a while, hasn't it? Love seeing you here again. Ugh, caves. Ugh, caves. This game is full of caves. They're good caves, but ugh, caves. I could have grabbed that fairy again. Never mind. Don't worry about it. That happened and we're here now. There will be more fairies. Oh, goodness. They're not too bad. Especially if you smack them a lot while they're boomeranging. You rang? Flippers! Hmm, yes, yes, yes! Why, it all makes sense now, doesn't it, boy? Librari used these flippers to swim to the entrance of the Temple of Droplets. So if you put these on, you should be able to swim too! Remarkable! Yes, I know how flippers work. You know, the Gust Jar is so much cooler than the Gust Bellows. I mean, I I haven't played, what is it, Skyward Sword that that's in a whole lot, so I, I can't really compare, but the Gust Jar definitely has some, like, unique ways that it works that I really enjoy. The way that it goes in and out, and the th various things it can be used for. Okay, this just leads back where we came from, and I don't think there's anything back here. Unless there is something hidden in here, there is not. Okay, out of here. I... Gus Bellows make it seem like they tried to do something similar in a 3D game, which sounds great. I, I have no idea how it worked in practice. Blows away dirt and sand and that's it, puzzle item only. Yeah, makes sense. In this game, it tries to integrate it into combat a little more. Also, once you get the flippers, you come out from there. Okay, that makes sense. And now we've got everything we need to go to, I think, my favorite dungeon in the game, too. So this whole sequence is just my favorite part of the game. Start to finish. It's just... Mm, magical.
Tempo Droplets is the other way, but there's a lot we can do now that we can swim, and I'm trying to remember if there is anything in particular that we should do, that we should hit up first. Uh, no, pretty much everything I want to do is at Lake Hylia. So, let's hop to it! No, wait, there is something. There is something. There is something very specific. It is... There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do in the Minish Forest. The Minish Woods. Because now, as a Minish, we can swim across these little puddles. And with so many places that to turn small in the forest. There is a lot to do here. And it nets you a lot of good stuff. So, let's work on that. Is that a fairy fountain in the middle? I hope so. Oh, right. This part sucks. This part sucks. Ice physics across tiny little platforms. Ooh. Getting knocked off sends you way back. It doesn't suck as bad as a later one does, if there is indeed a later one, but just god. Ugh. And then you have to go back. Uh-huh. Doing it. There we go. I don't know about you, but I love ice physics on tiny little platforms. You might also like... Google says you may also enjoy Kaizo. Another blue kinstone. I need red ones, please. Is there anything in here, or is it just enemies? There is a chest. Okay. Another blue one. Okay. Where are my red kinstone pieces? I need something here, because I still don't have that thing I need for that time-sensitive side quest. Oh, goodness. The Deadly Three of video games. Water levels, ice, physics, and gravity. Funny thing, because depending on who, who you ask, I made two of those work surprisingly well in Retrush. My, uh, level, Mars Era level project. Because a surprising number of people said I made good Mario water levels for a change. It's like, what? Excuse me? That's awfully kind of you. I think the way those work that makes them work well is just the fact that you spend less of your time in the water than the entire level. You hop in and out of various areas, and it keeps the flow and the momentum going, and I think that's what makes it work. In my humble opinion. Gotta get the stairs. There's something else important to do over here. Then we knock out a bunch of stuff in Lake Hylia, and then we actually go to the Temple of Droplets. Bear with me here. There's good stuff. Like, there's something in here. I don't know if we got this last time. Don't think we did. Oh, there's two regular like likes in here. Just as I was saying, they're kind of rare in this game. Three! Jerk. 50 ripple, and a blue Kenstone piece. I'm fine! I'm fine! Everything's fine! So to be up here... Yeah, we need to be small. We're gonna go up there first, and then come back... To Wait. That grass comes back up, and then... We can't go up here like that. Oh, I know what's going on here. Okay. Okay, you come into here through Lake Hylia. That's what it is. This is a very weird and specific uh, little area of the forest that... Looks pretty, but pretty much only exists as a segue from up above. Alright. 
sneak over here. There's something up this way, isn't there? Yes. No? That's nothing. Why, why is there just nothing over here? It must open up later with a Kenstone piece or something. Anyway, I needed to be back here anyway. Because there's pretty much nothing along the main drag to here. So we can just skip to hopping around this area, and I know there's something important here. Couple important things, actually. Problem with water levels is it either limits your moveset or limits your movement in some way, unless the game compensates you for it, like Zora Link and Majora's Mask. Even Kirby, which gives you a different attack underwater, it's still very weak and feels very, uh... Very limited, by comparison. Heart piece I never got. Completed a new heart container! I always think I can't go here until later, because I came over here as a kid a million times, and there was never anything here. Because I got the heart piece, and then I forgot I got the heart piece, and I kept coming over here and going, hmm, is there anything over here? Nope. Here's this guy. Wow, good job finding this place. There aren't many people who visit me here. That's it? That's not it, actually. I don't remember what the specific requirements for this is, but this guy is a jerk and only lets you do his kinstone thing once in a while after a certain point in the story, I think, which we may not have even reached. But even when it does unlock, he only... the Thought Bubble only shows up like one in ten times. It's ridiculous. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Is there anything else around here? I think that was the only thing, but I'm glad I got the heart piece anyway. Because I had forgotten to do so the last time. If you can't figure out what to do in this game, it's probably a kinstone. You're right! Uh, let's see, let's see. Vash says, Vash is uh, mocking me, saying, I made some, Sky says, I made some great ice levels. Also, Sky, literal video game demon. Hey, I said I made good water levels. There's a difference. No, but I actually do have on my short list to try and make a quote-unquote good ice level sometime, and it is probably going to involve no ice physics whatsoever, but if you consider that cheating, I could probably try to work it in somehow. Have that one practically memorized. I don't know how you're supposed to know that's there. I'm sure somebody tells you. Still can't get this yet because you have to climb up a uh, narrow, a uh, low part of the, the land here, and there are no stairs and there's no... Uh, shallow water or anything. So, still can't do anything with that. There's a bunch to do around Lake Hylia now. Mostly small. Like this up here. And the other thing that I said in Minish Woods. Hey, buddy. What is it? What do you want from me? You're after my bean, aren't you? Well, I'll never tell you where it is. It's mine! Mine! Do you hear me? Mine! But, I suppose if you confuse a kinstone with me, I might tell you. Yeah. How was I? Did I sound like an elder? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's, what's the thing you said at the end? I skipped it by accident. Did I sound like an elder? I've been practicing my elder ease. What? What? All those blue kinstones coming in handy. Yeah, Red Burning Dragon, I know how to get the piece of heart. I just wanted to show it. Kirby says, I had an idea for a good ice level where it's good because it's designed to annoy you. Oh, that sounds, uh... That that sounds lovely. I, I, I'm I very interested in playing your level. Uh, on stream, in fact. You just, uh... You just tell me when that happens, and I will, uh... 
do that for you eventually. I promise I won't indefinitely delay it. And it's definitely not out of uh, fear or anything. Oh, it's this again. This is the one I was thinking of. This is the one that sucks. Goodness gracious. Welcome back to Ice Physics. It, you stop your ice momentum entirely when you use your sword for some reason. That's wacky. Video games, am I right? Slugs! Not the slugs! Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Now I just have to get back out. There's a red kinstone piece, finally! Just had to make it as difficult as possible. As out of the way as possible. As absolute. It's still not the piece I need. Ah. <sighs> Minish Cap. I love this game so much, I promise. You can't tell right now, but this is my favorite part of the game right here. The way it all opens up because you get the flippers. The ice physics are there too. Careful. Careful. There we go. It's not terrible. It just takes a lot of getting used to. I'm sure I'm not biased from having played this game since I could... Since I had my GBA, basically, as a kid. Just... Ugh. Anything else around here? Uh, there's that piece of heart there. Is there any I was more asking, is there anything else around here that requires me to be small? And if there is, we can come back to it. Those are the most important things that I got, I think. And there's something else I can do while I'm here. Hey, big guy. Now that we've made it here, we can finally push this in. Though it really only leads here and kind of completes the loop around the lake. I am going to have to buy a red kinstone from the shopkeeper if I want this kinstone. I bet you, I guarantee you at this rate, it's not happening. Anyway, welcome to here! You have found the true Master Swordsman of Hyrule, Waveblade! If you train with me, I'll teach you things you've never seen! Hmm? Seems you are not ready to train here. Come back when you have more than ten hearts! Nine. And a half. And three quarters, actually. Actually, wait, I got that guy's bean. I might be able to do this now. There's the temple, when I'm ready for that. We'll be back for that in a bit. I gorped his bean! Where is this freaking place, anyway? I can never remember. I thought it was back here, but maybe it isn't. Maybe it is something that opens up later, but where's the- where's the bean? Bean. 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 Yeah, that's the one. I remember that one quite well. Arp! Always want sword on A so I don't get confused. Hey, buddy. My master Stockwell has been coming home far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. What can I do for you? How can I help? I don't have a ball, but I can do that. You wanna flip over? No? I can never remember how to do this. Where is it?
think I'm fine with ice physics because I grew up with Super Monkey Ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you put it that way, but, uh... I don't know, it feels different. Especially in, like, a 2D platformer, to me. It's challenging that way. I don't feel like Monkey Ball has ice physics at all when I'm playing it. It just it just plays different. It plays uniquely. It is its own it is its own subspecies. Pick a light quest if you didn't do it yet. Uh hmm. Are you going up there again? Shoot. Can you go on the stove? Maybe? Maybe! No, you can't go on that little thing. It looks like it. I've always wondered, but no. There's nothing in there. Wait, I remember where this is now. I think it's through there. Sadly. Which means I can't get to it yet. Oh, shoot. Is there one more heart piece I can get somewhere? There are... A lot of things I can do with the kinstones that I've gotten so far, and I think I might have one. This is a one way for some reason. Because it doesn't lead where I want it to go, that's why. Wait, yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> I always get confused there, because it leads off to Lake Hylia again. I'm like, what? But no, Lake Hylia just leads back here. A, a little slightly weird case of we had to fit this somehow, but it, it works. It's good enough. This is one solid wall. I'm gonna need a few friends to give me a hand. Yeah, we don't have this yet. I think we have to get through this wall before we get a piece of heart. But... What else do we have? An opening... I think it was the pool, the pond, the little shallow pond was, uh, drained, and now there's stairs there. <laughs> Hello? Big wallet! Heck yeah. How does this work again? Uh... So... We need to get up there, which I think is just a straight shot across, yeah. There's this whole maze here, and I don't remember what it's for. I was worried I'd have to get through the maze in order to do this, but I don't, thank goodness. Let's just run. All the way up there. Show me what this is. A red kinstone piece, okay. So that was kind of worth it. And a piece of heart! Look at that! That's what we wanted! Alright, now we're going places! Okay, so... Uh, we got a piece of heart, we got a red kinstone piece, which may or may not be the one- it's not! So, let's just go into the Temple of Droplets, then. Or wait, no. Uh, talk to the Swordsman, then go into the Temple of Droplets. Gotta keep my stack in order. Animal Crossing New Horizons, for being as obsessed with it as I was for, like, six months, taught me how to keep a stack in my head of things to do, which I didn't have that skill before I played Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the way, even shit like tools breaking, which nobody likes that, but the way it sort of built my ability to keep a stack of things to do and remember the order they all have to go in, I am actually kind of fond of the mechanic because of that, but don't tell anyone I said that. You, did, you didn't hear it from me. You have found the true Master Swordsman of Hyrule, Waveblade! If you train with me, I will teach you skills that will make you a master. So, would you like to train here? Yes, please. Now you will learn a dangerous technique for desperate times. 
the peril they aim. First, you must have only one heart left. Second, use your last ounce of strength to swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So, there's no turning back now. For one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the Wave Blade pos Possession Technique of Trade. Where have we heard this before? I I'm sure you have this uh, trademarked and patented and everything, but I feel like I've heard this somewhere before and I can't put my finger on it. Watch this. Urgh! Possession! Now, you must try it yourself. When you have only one heart left, swing the sword with the last of your waning strength. I did it. Yes, fine work! You know the way! I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. Alright! I wonder how Swift Blade's doing. And with all that done, I think this might be my favorite dungeon in the game. And if it's not my favorite, it's my second favorite. The Temple of Droplets. <laughs> I'm freezing in here. If you don't find that element quickly, I'm gonna turn into a hatsicle. Hurry up, Sky. I took one step. God. I was about to fall off the edge there, buddy. You can't just take away my controls like that. What? This floor is made out of ice. Careful not to fall and freeze your backside to the floor, Sky. I mean, it's not like we were just in caves full of ice or anything, but you do that, buddy. Timely assistance. Why did we need 10 hearts for tech that we can only use at one? For uh, balancing reasons. I mean, uh, because we had to be stronger in order to be, in order to use our strength at its weak weakest. Shove this open. But we still can't get in here. Hey, the sunlight's shining through. Ah, it's so nice and warm. I can feel myself starting to defrost again. This opened up. I like the way the two-tiered thing with the sunlight works in this. It's very cool. Hmm, looks like something is frozen inside this block of ice. I can't tell! I guess I couldn't... I guess I wouldn't necessarily be able to tell if it was on a tiny little Game Boy Advance screen. Ta-da! Using the sunlight like that is a cute little uh, mechanic that I don't see very often in other ice-based dungeons. Most of them are like a hard freeze permafrost kind of thing. Or they're like freeze flame galaxy. Wait, we got a small key, that's right. It takes us to the other side of that room. A little premature. Ow. Stop shooting at me! I'm trying to look at chat. Interesting that it's the opposite of the Master Sword. Yeah, it's a it's a neat technique. I think it comes up in other Zelda games, but this is this is definitely unique. Imagine an ice level, but your character has ice cleats, so it's not a factor. God, were that every uh were that every hero would come equipped with ice cleats, knowing that this was going to happen. Okay, so. This is more of a complicated puzzle with three ice blocks. We need this. Kind of early to get the big key, yeah? If 
we can get it into here, then we can wrap around to here. And I've got it. Gotta think these, three, these things multiple moves in advance. It can be hard to keep track of. I know a lot of people don't like these kind of ice-pushing physics puzzles because it's just so hard to keep track of all the moving parts, especially ones that involve moving multiple ice blocks in order to make more... Ri I'll be right back. Anyway, I was just, as I was saying, I do actually tend to like these a lot, and... Uh, I think one of my very earliest game concepts was basically making an entire game around this with a whole bunch of unique mechanics, but, uh... I was summarily told by somebody in high school, uh, are you sure people are actually gonna want to play that? And... Uh, as much as my poor little heart didn't want to hear it, they were right. So if we do this correctly, we can just shove all of these up and around this way. But then this is the key here. No, this is actually an empty ice block. The other one is the key, but this is the key to solving the puzzle. And this is the key to getting out of here. Hello? Oof. The momentum on this suddenly kicks in all at once, and it's kind of weird to navigate. So, ice physics, ice physics, yada yada yada, but this games are a little weird on top of that. That's the big key! Use it to open big doors! And then we close this back up. So we can walk back across. I like this so much. It's so clever. It's so simple, but so clever. I love shit like this. And big key. Hey! hey! Well done, Sky. This looks to be the element, alright. What will we do? We can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice. We need to melt it off somehow. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway! There's more dungeon. I think this is a way back. No, this has the compass. The map! I didn't realize we didn't already have the map. We're getting the map after the big key. I like the way it plays with that. Big freaking dungeon. It's a jar. It's a jar! I always forget this. In fact, I think this is specifically the Gus jar, which is funny because you don't even get it here. Link needs a hair dryer. That sounds like it'd be a good Skyward Sword type item. Gust Bellows, hair dryer. After all, all the other characters just blow hot air. Why can't Link? Zing! Where are we going? Over here? Yeah. Yeah, good that I did this first. I think. Maybe? Pressing this opens up the way forward. We don't have a key for this. But on the other side here... Oof. Where's my key? I didn't need to come back for that yet, I think. I think I can just go down there myself. Yeah. Whee!
The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. I'm sure this is unrelated. That's just the way back. I think you can just climb that back up and then push your way through the rock. That's it. Okay. And then... I was joking. Turns out that is unrelated. This is the pot. And then we can't get up here... ...yet. I'm not a huge fan of the Gus Jar blowing the lily pads around on the water, because it can feel a little finicky, but... ...in this case, I think it is used extremely well. One way around without it. And then one way around with it. It is a lot to have to go back and forth and back and forth with it. I like how the lily pad goes down first. Ow. Whatever, we're past it. No, we're not! Ow! Now we're past it. A little worse for wear. Needed to do that whole thing just to get across here. But that's permanently open now. Ugh. And then it's so finicky whether it goes past corners or not. whole way around this way, I think. No. That's just showing where we will be later. Interesting. Not even sure why that's there. So what's the other way, then? I know that's the way we have to go. But I'm wondering if we have to do this first and get a key or something. Urgh. Corners! Yes, this is smart to do first. Just one? Ew. This guy doesn't even qualify as a mini-boss anymore, he's just here. It's not playing the music. Ow, ow! Let me throw- ow! Ow! It's just a deadly. Too long, I think. There we go. That's better! I was hoping that would give me my midway warp, but no. Instead, it gives me the compass. You don't say. A not mid boss for a compass. Sure. Sure, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. There's a lot of chests in this one. I'm sure I will look at the map so many times to find them all. Microboss, yes, yes indeed. I find it interesting seeing which games call them mini bosses or sub bosses or mid bosses or. I think it's e it can even be inconsistent between certain series. Like, I know Kirby has called it different things in different games. I know they are all practically the same thing, but still, it's very interesting for me for some reason. Oops. Gotta get up on here. There we go. So this one is all movable ice blocks. Which means it's going to be extremely complicated, right? No, they're all set up for you already. You just need to know which one is the key to move around. 
My dude. And you have to be very careful not to ice physics your way into the wrong block. But I don't think it'll kill you if you do. Can't do this yet. Imagine developers trying to agree on terminology. Exactly. Microboss. Equivalent to one one millionth of a standard boss. I think I got the number of zeros on that correct. Yeah, that's ten to the six. That's a millionth. It has been so long since I've had to think about that. That guy just picked up a pot! And now with no other ammo, he has no choice but to just ram into me. Which worked as well as it appeared. Ah, it is dark in here. Sky, where are you? Are you still there under me? Why wouldn't I be? It's so dark I can't see my beak in front of my face! Watch your step, I don't want you to trip over anything. Trip? We have much worse problems to worry about. Hello, Slug. Hello, Slug. Three of these guys this time. And I think this is what qualifies as the mid-boss, so even over that other thing that we did for the just the compass. I'm having less of a problem with this. Less of a problem with that than getting the compass. Nice job! Got the warp, that's what I was looking for. And we're back here in the center room. That's too heavy for us. But not for two. This is so cool. Sunlight! Once we get some sunlight to melt the ice, that element will be as good as ours. The way this temple just remixes the order in which you get the items, the way that you get them, the way you traverse around the place, and then the use of sunlight within the ice to be not a fire element or anything, not a clash of elements, but just like a... Uh, a natural thing to help handle the ice is just so cool. I love this dungeon so much. It's the other way to get that chest. It is very cool, pun intended. I think these are the weirdest path of these in the entire game. And the other way that takes longer to wait for doesn't even go anywhere. It's so strange. I love this game to bits, but it has some strange design philosophy sometimes. Hello, new friend! Welcome to the stream! Absolutely love this game. Me too! I think that did something. It closed this, so we can reach this one. <laughs> so
so we can open up the sunlight and then go down and open up the sunlight some more. It's so multi-dimensional. I love this game. I love uh, Link Between Worlds for a lot of the same reasons, too. The way it's like... The way it uses dimensionality to its... To its benefit. One keep. Did I say that other thing was the mid-boss? Because this is a lot worse. Oh god! He's big and blue, and electrified this time. And while he's electrified, we can't do anything about him at all. One cycle that. Electrified again, almost immediately. Just kind of gotta wait it out. But also, when you use the gust jar, you are pulling him towards you, even as he continues to try and electrify himself. I'm doing this a lot better than I thought I would. I had a lot of trouble with this one the last time I did it, I think. Right, he starts moving way the fuck faster in this phase. So... Somehow one-cycled that! Not that it matters, I'm not speedrunning. Just still got my speedrunning levels mindset on the brain. And all of that for this. A very classic item. The Lantern. The fire part of our ice dungeon. It may be a very classic item, but the way this game uses it is somewhat unique. You actually keep it on you the whole time. I think, uh, Skyward Sword also does this? But the fact that this happens in 2D, too, is... new. New to 2D up to this point. I think new to the series up to this point, even. Oh, now there's just three of them normally. Not even mid-boss or anything this time. Not even for a warp or anything this time, that is. They're just here. And still just as... whatever. I lit these up already, but does it do anything different now that the enemies are gone? Probably not. I think it is literally just to be able to see. Yeah. Dark Maze? This has never happened in Zelda before. Ever. Y'all know I like mazes a lot. This is fine. But, like, I know why people aren't super fond of them. When I was adding mazes to Red Rush, it was like... Having to figure out how to do those quickly is definitely way too hard for people to uh, figure out while they're on a timer. So I had to make them all as absolutely simple as possible, and even then, a lot of people still got stuck or lost. So, really I just shouldn't have been adding mazes at all, I just fall back on that so much after I drew so many mazes as a kid. But that's for a blog post coming your way soon.
Oh, there's a lot of these guys here. What are these, anyway? Still don't know. Maybe I asked this already and I've just forgotten the intervening time, but they, they're very unique. Do they even show up anywhere else? Weird bugs. Yep, that's exactly correct. Nature's full of them. Especially tiny nature, so it makes sense that those would just be weird bugs, too. I keep getting red kinstone pieces, surprisingly. I have one! Finally. Fucking finally. God. That took way longer than it need to, needed to. Another red kinstone piece. Why is this specific maze just full of red kinstone pieces? Maybe to make up for the fact that it's a dark maze. Now we're starting to get into the fire nonsense. Dark, ice physics, tiny platforms. I swear I love this game, guys. Right, this is weird. It goes all the way through the back here for some reason. I really don't know why they did that. Ice physics in the dark with... Narrow platforms, just a winning combination. You're absolutely right. Huh? Ah, yes, of course. I like these navigation puzzles with the, uh, the big blocks like this, because you kind of have to puzzle out, like, how do you do this in a way that doesn't make you accidentally brush up against a wall, too, and I think it can be a little finicky and frustrating your first time, but I also think it's a unique kind of, like, logistics puzzle. And this is just some nonsense. I'm trying to remember how this works. So there's a couple different ways you might think of solving this puzzle. You might think, oh, there's all these big stone blocks here. Let me make, let me double up and push them so that pushing the blocks around becomes a little easier and I can navigate the blocks all the way. This one's stuck against a wall and you can't get it out from the wall no matter what. So that's not our solution. You can get one of these up in its block, or up in its switch. But then what do you do? And the answer is, there's a reason there's two of these. And it's to not do that. Gotta sneak back around. There we go. And back down. Three. I like that. There's a lot of red herrings in that puzzle. Well designed. And then that's just a symmetry puzzle. I want to go look at what we need this for before we- Ah, that's- that's pretty simple. Let's 
seems like by the end of this dungeon we'll have gone about two hours, which is typically my time to wrap things up. I thought you were up there. Never mind. Okay. Huh. Get all the torches in time with ice physics. It's not that hard. It's just funny and wiggly. about to run out of hearts, and I don't have my fairy anymore. Need to be careful. Oh, bye! Don't come back! This is definitely just, like, they're just here and this isn't a mini mid-boss. Ew. Anything? God! Low on hearts! There we go. Ow! A good excuse to put pots, but also it's an, a puzzle of obscuring. So there have already been moments where there is a hidden, uh... Hidden... Bombable wall that makes a different sound and you just can't tell it's there because it looks different. But this one looks different and also has a giant arrow pointing to it? And I get the sense that this one was changed based on, uh, beta testing feedback. But for some reason, the others weren't. It's very strange. Fire burns these, so we don't have to spend a lot of time gusting them for ages. Oh, and now there's two of these jerks. You have to walk directly into them. If you walk into them from the side, it bounces you. That's strange. I guess it makes sense. Very nice. Well, I'm not getting that chest anytime soon. I really don't want to go all the way back around with the lily pad. Slugs! I suppose I could have farmed some hearts off those guys. That would have involved thinking. This is just kind of meandering our way back to the center again. I am really low on hearts for this fight. We'll see how well I can take it. There's the element. We did it, Sky! Now we can take the element! That was a lot of trouble, but we finally did it at- What in blazes? Hey, something's not right here! Big boy. Big boy alert! That stupid Octorok took our element! Don't just stand there, we've gotta go get it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of can't walk while you're talking. Oh, thank goodness, that's a lot of hearts. Okay, still not full hearts, but... Hey, uh, okay. maybe there's some here. No. 
just a ruffle. And then I think these even have the courtesy of exploding. Which means I have less hearts than before. I knew exactly that that was going to happen, and I did it anyway. Fantastic. I was quick on the draw on that. I forgot that's how it worked. Uh-huh. Gotcha! God, this guy's panicking! Okay, so if it's just that, then I don't think we need the sword for anything, right? In that case, we can do this. Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Why don't you come see, buddy? Ow! That's not what I meant! That's a very silly animation. Ah! I keep not expecting that to happen! Gotcha! Wait, no. Oh, yeah, it's three. Okay. The Nintendo rule of three. Y'all know how it is. Ow! Well, that is going to get me killed if I keep that up. Gotcha! Just gonna stay on my guard. Okay. Now we're back to this. One more time, one more time! Bring it! Bonk. Bonk. Well, that was quick. Oh wait, there's not a third phase of that! That was it! Whew! We're going in so low on hearts, that's, was, that went surprisingly well. I also like how much combat there is in this one, even if some of it is a little silly. But like, the blue choo-choo and the octorock, that's a- that's a fun combination for a dungeon. You got the water element. Water quenches thirst, ends draught, and nourishes life. The water element is the embodiment of that power. Second row. Not to be confused with Sekiro. <laughs> I almost froze my beak off in there. What? Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, young one. Child who seeks to aid the princess of Hyrule. My name is Gustav. I was king of Hyrule countless ages ago. Stand before me. Only then will the path open to you. Okay. Is that just a dream? He said he was a king of Hyrule. Wait, look at your map, Sky. There's some kind of mark on it. Hmm, I guess that means it wasn't a dream. We should head there once we've infused your sword with that element. To the Elemental Sanctuary! Let's do one thing before we go to the Elemental Sanctuary, and then we will do that, and probably call it a stream. Going back to the Elemental Sanctuary over and over again in this game is a ritual that... Nintendo games don't just have a rule of three and the hand boss and all that. They also pride themselves on their rituals. The things that you have to go back to over and over again in order to do something special, infuse your power, or just make progress. I kind of like that about them too, and that's a thing that I don't see a lot of people talk about is the ritual stuff. The, you have to go back to the elemental sanctuary. The, you have to go to the, uh... The statue of the goddess to upgrade your health and stamina. The... 
even something simple, as, even something just as simple as going back to Rosalina's, uh, Rosalina's observatory every time you clear a level. The, the ritualistic aspect of it, the things that are familiar that... The comforting things that remind you that you have completed that leg of your quest and you're ready to start another one. The ups and downs of the, the journey. What a fit. Look at that. And you know what that means? Good luck for us. Yes, it certainly does. Why don't we go and see what that was? There it is. The most important thing that has to be done right now, and it can't wait too much longer, because otherwise it will be far too late. We have arrived at this, uh, whatever it is, and we see another one of these guys, like the one in, in Castletown, like the one we just fused with. Goodness, we rarely get visitors here. Tell me, how'd you get here? Fuck if I know. Well, Link probably wouldn't be saying that. Who are you? Nobody believes me, but I saw a ghost that has taken hold of Granddad. I can't believe old Gregal is sick. He was looking so healthy. I guess something just took hold of him. In my youth, I was called Grego the Great. I was even a little famous. But lately, my limbs have grown heavy, and I can't even stand up. This stumped me as a kid. You come here, and you get these treasure chests, and like, okay, I guess that's your reward, is you get to go see this funny thing, and I... This poor guy's sick. Oh no, I wish I could do something about it. You come back here later in the game. And when you do, this guy is just... dead. Assuming you didn't do this. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. It's been a long time since I've actually done this, so I forgot it took this much. Ta-da! Well, well, well. Look at how the color has come back to his face. How could I ever thank you? I still have a hard time believing he'd be possessed by a monster, though. What? The evil spirit had taken hold of me, and you drove it away? You... you might be right. I can already feel my energy returning. I'll be able to get out of bed soon. What's your name? Sky? Thank you, my boy. You saved me. And you get shells for your trouble. Weird, right? I certainly never thought to use the Gush Jar on that. Who are you gonna call? Gust Busters! <laughs> Jokes like that are definitely not Gut Busters. What's at the shop? Is there anything new? There's a large quiver. That, that, that was supposed to be me asking you how much this is. 600 rupees. It holds many arrows, as you can see. Let's see what else. You, no, never mind. I just bought it. Whatever. Large quiver. Carry more arrows. You are a big spender, aren't you? Thank you. Yeah, well, I had it on me. The big bomb bag is a real bargain at 600 rupees as well. Ah, my friend, you're far too clever by half, but you won't be haggling with me. And then there's one thing back there. I could have gotten this, I realize, in order- in instead of- no, I couldn't have. Wait, the order is wrong. Never mind, forget I said anything. I was about to say I could have gotten this first before the- I had to toss my fairy, but no, extremely not. Because in order to get back there, I needed the bracelets, and I came after. Order of operations.
Treasure chest. Is anybody else in here who wants to fuse? Yes. I got Kinstone's burning a hole in my pocket. Oh-ho! I had just gotten this a bit sooner. You don't have anything for me? I hear you. Oh, you just give hints, don't you? Interesting. Do you have anything, buddy? Alright. Let's go get the shopkeeper's funny item. Shove this aside. I like how you can hear the switch push- the invisible switch push down by the, uh... By the bookshelf when you push it, that saves it for later. I get hungry just from that smell. I'm getting hungry myself. It's kind of late. It's Seven o'clock. Probably gonna be wrapping up the stream here soon too, so I can go have dinner. I wanted to go to the sanctuary. That's right. Opens up a hole. A lot more stuff to explore in the Minish Woods when we get back there. I want a red hat. I want a blue hat. You know... You could both just... trans your genders. That wouldn't get you new hats, but it'd be fun. Aw, uh, babe, don't worry about it. I'm not quite wrapped up with the stream yet anyway. You've got time. Our reunion with the forest minish is still in full swing. I see that. It's a party up here. We're getting more fun just being here. Maybe I should just stay here and never go back home. We should probably, like, tell someone. You have family back home? Friends? They're gonna miss you. Oh, it is dusty up here. And dangerous. Does this guy never clean his attic? Hell, I never cleaned my attic. What am I talking about? Doesn't seem to be much of anything up here. I think it's just a, uh... Just a funny along the way. Huh? Hello? Is anyone back there? No? Ah, oh, well, I guess not. How odd. No, it's nothing. Definitely, definitely nothing. Don't look right behind you. Ah! Hey, God, I knew there was someone here. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That is to say, me and me alone. Well, too bad. I want this. I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. That bottle contains food for my dear little dog, Fifi. What? You just want the bottle? That's highly unusual. Well, fine. If you feed Fifi, then I guess you can have the bottle. How does that sound? Sounds great. I'll take it. Excellent, excellent. He's at my home right now. Thank you so much. You got a bottle of dog food. Allow me to mark the location of my home. I actually know where it is already, but thanks. I, I haven't been snooping or anything, I promise. I believe there should be a doggy dish for my dog back at my house. Space the dish, press R. Hello, cat who is pawing to get into the bathroom. Drop down, make things quicker. And we're here. Alright! So we can... Run over to the lake. Let me just do one last thing. Let me just do one last thing! And then we'll go to the Elemental Sanctuary and wrap it up. Let me just do one last thing, and then we'll go do one last thing!
Hey, buddy. You want some food? Good boy. But he ate fast. Jeez. He just says the same thing. Okay. Well, I'm glad you liked your food. Head back to town. What's down here? Have we done this yet? I can't remember, it's been like two months. That's the treasure chest. It's unopened, which means we haven't been here. How often do you stream? Uh, it's... it can vary wildly because I have work. But, uh... I try to stream on the weekends, and... It typically doesn't work out. If I get lucky, I stream like twice a month. But, uh, what I want to do is... Work has rearranged its schedule so that I get Friday every other Friday off in exchange for working slightly longer during the week. Get, let go of me. So what I want to try to do is start streaming on those off Fridays more. Today is one of them. I had today off. So streams like today's where it's like in the afternoon or the evening and on Fridays, maybe every other Friday, depends on what my schedule is. So that's the closest thing you could call a schedule at this point. I'm just getting back into it because I just finished up the project too. So I haven't really been thinking about streaming for a little while, but hopefully I can get back into it again. 100 rupees. Every one of them will go towards that big old bomb bag. Okay, so we can't open this one yet. And... We can't do this yet. At all. In any capacity. But I think I can get to the bottom one now, because I believe I needed the flippers to do that. Stuff? Yeah, you do. Just one more thing, one more thing. You have one as well. I don't think there are enough kinstones in this game. We're gonna need to take another pass through Minish Woods at some point. Nope, that doesn't fit. I don't know why I did that. Okay, cool. And hey, I have another one of those W-shaped red kinstones. I feel like I needed one for something else and I can't remember what it is anymore, but whatever. Down in the well. We can swim across finally. Get another hundred rupees. Good stuff. Shove. Alright, so now we just need this, which we were actually really close to. So maybe I will just do this part, and that will be the end of the stream. Just one more thing! Just one more thing! We can do just one more thing. We go to the elemental sanctuary, and we do the thing, and then we come back here, and we can open up that rock, and it's just one more thing. We get whatever's back there. One more thing. Only a few guards are still out there looking for that light force stuff. Yeah, I can imagine. Kind of a vague descriptor, you know? The 
flippers open up a lot of the world, but I will probably save that for next time. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Hey, hey you! None may enter! Uh, what? Hey. By order of the king, none shall pass! Now be gone with you! Uh, okay. What? Why? Hey, buddy. Did we open this up? Yes, we did! Bunch of stuff to look at around the courtyard, which I am... Still keeping the stream going. Still doing more side quests. I like this game's side quests a lot. There's so much to explore. So much to do. The even though the kinstones are weird and not a lot of- I know not a lot of people like them, they're very natural in, like, you go- you talk to someone and then you go and explore again to get your reward. And I like that a lot about it. That's great, there's nothing back there. Why'd you open that up? What does that matter? A visitor! How rare! I don't have much to offer, but you're welcome to stay. Don't have much to stay for, but thanks for the kinstone. Corby, I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's extremely cool, and I like seeing your messages, and you should keep sending more. Confuse me further. What are we talking about, Columbo, for? Sneak around this to get up here. It has shells in it. And then I think this also has something in it when we come back to it. Ah yes, just one more thing. Right, right. I forgot that was kind of a shtick of his. I've I've really only ever been inundated with Columbo through uh, Tumblr. So I don't know all of the lines, but, uh, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Sneak around behind this one. You open up one puddle, and it has two rewards in it. There's the, the big one and the small one, and I, I like that a lot about them. They're very cute. I think you can even get the small reward before you get the big reward just by swimming through it, because those are just water. Alright, now we're all done with that. And we can do this the normal way. You people have terrible eyesight. So that's where I'm supposed to go, but I want to see what this is. Great fountain! That'll help next time! Very good. Very good, you might say. But I won't, because that's, that's silly. Who would make a pun like that? just walk in before, but now we have to sneak inside. Sanctuary's right in front of us. Yeah. 
Our third element. The power of the water element has infused your blade. The power of this element allows you to split into three copies. Really? I thought I'd be able to do a water slash. Boring! Right. We don't need to do that anymore. We can just walk out this time. One, two, three. What's the purple one? Uh, the purple one is... The earth element. Earth, fire, water. I wonder what happens if I... No, those doors are just straight up locked. You try to go in the front and there's guards just standing there telling you you can't go in. Which I, uh, forgot to show. But, uh... I was wondering if you could walk up behind them and, uh... Surprise them or something. Nope. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You can do this, however. Hey, buddy. Hey. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Hey, hey you! None may enter! Oh, that. Hey. Why'd you put me all the way over there? Whatever. I mean, I know why, but why? Hey. Order the king, none shall pass. See? Can't go in. Gotta sneak in from now on. A fairy fountain or a furry fountain. That is correct, Fidgety Frolic. Yes, a uh, furry fountain would be more accurate, I suppose. Right, so we need to go down these this ladder to wrap up the stream. Almost done here. Just one last thing. For real this time. Probably, I think. I mean, maybe not. But, probably. I hope. There we go. I like how he sat on the statue as I was moving it. Like, great job, buddy. Pulling in this game is much slower than pushing, I'm noticing. Also, Link's face gets red. God, that must be heavy. I hope this is worth it. That's worth it! I think when I came and did this part the first time, I didn't have any bomb upgrades. I think I just had 10 bombs. And it was agonizing trying to get through here. Maybe you always start with 30 bombs and I just had... Wait, no. I got a bigger bomb bag from the fairy, that's right. I don't normally have 30 bombs at this point in the game. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. One thing at a time, one thing at a time. One rock at a time. Come on, y'all, just one more thing, we can do it. Just one more thing. Now we can wrap up the stream, just one more. Ah. Please. Please, I don't need Thank you. My ADHD can't take. Huh? Huh? 
What? There wasn't even anything back there! I got my reward already! Hello, Sky. We haven't seen you in school for a while. So glad you came. Y you telling me attendance is voluntary? D anyway! Just, uh... Ten, ten bombs. No reason. Just cause. Just cause I feel like it. The children are on their lunch recess. Healthy body leads to a healthy mind. That's gonna be about it for the stream, I think. But next time, there will be a whole metric frickload of kinstones to go and pick up after. Oh, just what I needed. More danger in the castle. Thanks. Things are starting to look up for... for... for who? When I run, the thing that I'm eating always falls out of my mouth. Yay! Yay! I'm about done with the stream. Just do one more thing. Just do one more thing. Why am I always just doing one more thing? Why am I... why am I like this? Why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? The one more thing is just right in front- Is this how people playing Tears of the Kingdom feel? That I never picked up on because it didn't jive with me in the same way as this does? A resounding yes from across the house from my partner. Yes. That is how people playing Tears of the Kingdom feel. Got it. Whoa, you made it here really quickly. You're full of surprises, aren't you? Quickly? What? What are you talking about? Red kinstone piece. And I'm going to fly my way out of here. Five feet over there. Thanks, Birdie. Alright! That's gonna be it for the stream! Whew! Love the stream, you have amazing commentary and kept it interesting. Aw, thank you! You are so sweet! Oh my god, I get so self-conscious doing these things. I had the nerves going into the stream, because it's been a couple months, but that is really sweet of you. Thank you so much. And we will call it there. So, y'all probably noticed, I don't have alerts up, but I do like reading out uh, things that happen during the stream. So, today I'd like to thank Bad, nude, bad Dude Not Cool Guy for following, uh, Fat Loser OG for following, and thank you so much for chatting. It was wonderful to hear from you and that compliment of yours. Oh, right in the heart. I'll carry that with me. Nice double thinking emo by, there, by the way. That's fun. And uh, on my birthday a uh, while ago, a couple of things happened too, even though I wasn't even streaming. Uh, Fluffy Fluffy Bun Buns 1 followed me, and Lexi subscribed. So... All very sweet of you. Thank you so much. And the next time I stream, I hope will be soon again. I hope to start doing this regularly again. But, uh... What if I streamed on Sunday? I might stream on Sunday. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I kind of don't want to burst into streaming again because I spent so long working on that, working on Retrush that, like, I really honestly kind of need a break. But I'm also getting one. Uh, watching my partner play Zelda, so I'm, I'm thinking about it. We'll see. It probably won't be Minish Cap. We'll probably save Minish Cap for another week or two, but if I stream on Sunday, I'll see you then. And if I don't, well, follow me here, follow me on Twitter, follow me wherever. This link in chat... Skyso.me slash T-R-I-C will take you to all of my links if you want to follow me somewhere, and you'll know when I'm streaming then. So, alright, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. Have a good evening. See you another time, another place.